Hello and welcome to Game Soup. I'm Ed. This is Joe. Today we're playing Defunct. It's about a robot who is defunct. And we're going to play it, and it's a racing game, sort of. It's an action-y racing style, speed-running platformer. Platformer. You'll get the hang of it. I tried it out for a, a few minutes. I just wanted to get myself acclimated to it. I haven't played it yet. Right. This and is, I'm the one playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess we should mention that. This is Joe's first time playing it. Uh, the first thing that I noticed was graphically, it looks kind of like an older game, maybe. Like, it's pretty simple. Like, those trees over there. Yeah. Everything about this game, I, I don't know who made it. I guess I should have looked that up. God! It was a Swedish company. I think they're a small company. Oh. I don't remember the name, though. That explains it. They don't have trees in Sweden, so they don't know what trees look like. Yeah. So that's why. That's why they look kind of weird. Or maybe their trees are just different. Maybe they do have trees. I don't know. Somebody just told me that, that they don't have trees. Um, and I... I just believe everything that anyone tells me. You know, this... I mean, you're the same way, aren't you? No, I'm the one that tells you the lies. I know, I believe them. I, I can never tell if they're lies or not. So we got this robot. His name is Wally 2. The sequel. The sequel to Wally. He's kind of sad. He's all broke. You know? I'll turn the volume up here a little bit. It's pretty quiet. Oh, look, there's a, there's a Swedish poster there on the wall, written in the Swedish language. <laughs> we all right. Oh, because I've already done the tutorial, it skipped that. Oh, cool. So, well, I'm careening down a hill here. You sure are. Uh, there is a button to increase gravity. I'm guessing it's the A button or like a trigger or something. Is it this? Yeah, it's that one. So if you're going downhill, it makes you go faster because you, you're uh, like latching onto gravity. Tighter. Oh, okay. But if you're going uphill, it's going to slow you down. A jumps. Yeah. Run into that. I'll see if oh, I can okay. time this. I'll push E at the right time here. And you can, yeah, you can also stop. There we go. Oh, hold X to show again. There it is. Hold B to use your broken engine. It can be used as a last resort for when you run out of speed. So like this hill. My broken engine? B? Yeah. Or is that B on the keyboard? It's, uh, it should be B. The keyboard B. So I'm using go. a controller here. Yeah, you are using a controller. You are. Good boy. Hold LS to slow down. Hold? Oh, hold. I think you gotta hold it back. Oh, LS down to slow down. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So it's pretty simple, uh, control-wise. So, again, the big gimmick here is, is uh, hey, you, you did that on your first try. You're a pretty smart boy. The big gimmick here is controlling gravity to some extent. It didn't work because you're holding a key and you have to put that key somewhere. Hey, look. There you go. I see. There you go. Not too bad, right? You have to press B to go forward, which is a little weird. Yeah. When, uh, you're, when you're stopped, you right. like tap B. It's I, sort of like a momentum-based yeah, kind of control. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very physics-based. That I, I, I kind of caught me off guard, too. Controls, the controls for this game in particular, I'm not, I'm not great at these kinds of games anyway. Games that have like a lot of momentum and, and, and physics. Like, I was doing this for a long <laughs> yeah. time. And I was really frustrated. I couldn't figure out how to get anywhere. And also, I don't know what this is. Hmm. I don't know either. Maybe it's the town oh, portal. let's keep going. Yeah, let's just keep going. So you have your, your very bare, bare story. And uh, big environments, though. I think that's pretty cool. Hold X to show again. Oh, I missed it. Go back. See if you can go back. Press space to jump. Okay, well, you have a jump button. It's probably not space, though. Oh, there's a double jump. There you oh, go. yeah, I've done that already. Oh, yeah, I press it was just like a rocket. Press X. So now it's in your hands. When you get near one of those question marks, hit X. All right. One out of two things. What do you call that? A collectible item. A collectible. Can we talk to these fellas? Of course not. They're robots. This game kind of reminds me of like a GameCube slash PS2 era style of game. A little bit. Maybe yeah, yeah, me too, actually. Yeah, I don't like, know. Graphically, maybe not as much gameplay-wise, but like the look of it, at yeah. least. Not just because it's a little bit uh, lower resolution than some of the more modern AAA 3D games, but just the, the style of it. Yeah. Like, sort of like Ratchet and Clank or Jack and Daxter, almost. Yeah. Like that kind of, sort of that kind of feel. Maybe not exactly, but that's yeah. the first thing that came to my mind. I guess a little cartoony and kind of, I don't know, exaggerated to some extent. Yeah. It's kind of nice, though. What button are you pushing? I'm curious. B. B. You don't have yeah. to push B. 
all the time. Only when you're stopped. But does it like... I thought it, would, I thought it would speed me up a little bit. No. But it doesn't seem to be doing no, that. No, it's only, it's only when you're at a dead stop and you just start moving again. I think you can just hold forward. I'm guessing forward on the, the stick to move faster. Or using gravity. Yeah. Yeah, I think those are your two main methods of moving. Gravity and, uh, I don't know, the left stick to some extent. All right. Hey, you did it. Simple game with simple goals. There you go. You know, when I was playing this, I really wanted to watch Wally -E again. Plus, it kind of looks like you're you're uh, you're riding on trash here. This is just a big, giant junk junkyard or something. I don't know. I don't know what these are. Yeah, I don't know what they are either. Um, it's a secret. It's a secret. And you're kind of just unceremoniously ceremoniously dumped in here. Like, what's why? What are we doing? Where are we going? Can you control the camera with the right stick? So far, I've noticed that I haven't been able to control the camera. Oh, uh, I don't know, actually. Perhaps not. Maybe there's no controllable camera. It seems like a pretty small develop... Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm just guessing. But based on what I've seen so far, it seems like maybe a small dev team. So maybe there is no camera control. I don't know. I don't know, I've never done anything with 3D games, so I don't know how hard it is to develop for, but it seems like it would be pretty easy to do some kind of a camera control. Yeah, if you know anything about camera control, the viewer, I'm speaking to you, if you know anything about camera control and whether it's hard or easy, let us know. I would like to know about that. <laughs> oh, I fell for it. Yeah, really. You fell. Oh, okay. Oh, this looks fun. This does look pretty fun. Oh. Okay, I have control again. That was weird. I thought it was going to go really fast. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Yeah, aren't you? You're clearly going downhill. Oh. It looks like I was going Wait, downhill. Wait, now I think it might like, be going uphill. Yeah, now it looks like you're going That's downhill. That's pretty confusing. Did you get turned around? I think you got turned around by accident. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the game turned you around. Hmm. <laughs> I think this year, I think this is supposed to happen. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that's impossible oh. to get up there. Or maybe that's a game over. I don't know. No, it can't be a game over. If it is... That was a game over. No. Yeah. That looked really hard. Yeah. There's not a lot of instruction in this game, I noticed. Lost. No, no we're just in another We're just in another area. Okay, so that was supposed to happen. Forced deaths. Everyone's favorite part of gaming, right? I like it. You like it? You like it in RPGs? You like it in action games? Feeling completely uh, overwhelmed and unable to, uh, to, to win? You like that feeling? I think if it's done well, yeah. You like defeat. Like in uh, in Mega Man X, when Vile kills you? I guess. In the beginning? I don't really like that, though. It's kind of cheap. I and, think then, and then it, it gets to show how badass Zero is, though. Yeah, that's true. That you could fight Vile for as long as you want, and you'll never beat him. And then Zero's able to but he's, knock him out in one hit. He's right? cheating, because he doesn't have Not a life bar. Out, but. Yeah, yeah. And Vile's cheating. He has no life bar. You can't tell if you're doing anything to him. You should uh, you should be able to see his life bar, and if you get it, if you actually beat him, like, say it's really hard, it's a super, super challenging fight, but if you manage to do it, you get, like, an alternate cutscene. I don't know, I guess they would do that these days, but back then, maybe Whoa. not. I just don't like that. Forced deaths happens in a lot of Final Fantasy games, a lot of RPGs in general. It kills me. And one of the games that I was testing for, uh, to, as a candidate for one of our next wild games, does the same thing kind of off-putting to me, but I guess you like it. I don't know. It, it can be it can be done well. I think it's a tool that can be done well. I think you're a tool that can be done well. You like when people say that? You're an X. No. You're a YZ. <laughs> I don't. That, that, I know. I know you don't like that. That and one other one other canned joke that I really uh, that really make me cringe. Speaking of that joke, I've been watching The Office recently. It's really good. I've never seen the whole thing. So I restarted it. It's really good. It's really funny. If you liked Steve Carell being awkward and having that sympathetic embarrassment all the time, you'll love it. So what, is, what, what are you collecting here? Blue things. Blue circles. They look like they give you a speed boost. Freshly... Hey, that one's in English. And it was a picture of a controller. Was that the Dev Company? Was that the name of the company? Freshly squeezed, and maybe, their logo. Yeah. Maybe I do like when game companies advertise in their own game. Just yeah, 
Just with like a remember? billboard that has the name of their company. Like Treasure used to do that. Yeah, that's true. You like that though. Yeah, I do like that. Think I, think that's that funny? I think that's cute and funny. Yeah. Oh. Or do you think it's stupid? It's okay. It's it's fine. Well, we're 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 having a lot of disagreements on design choices well, today. Uh, well, okay. So if you have a billboard in a game, I guess you could put your logo on it. If this is indeed, which I don't know, I'm assuming it is. But if you have that that space where you want to put a picture of something, you could maybe put a picture of something related to the game. Oh, come that, on. That How do we get across here? Expands on the lore. Am I doing something wrong? Uh, did you did you gravitize gravitize me, Captain? Correctly. I'm assuming you have to. Like do this and then get a real. Oh big yeah, just gets start. you a good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only okay. go, only I just wasn't using this. I think. Yeah, you could use that space to 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 expand on the game's story or lore or whatever or anything. I hmm. I guess you could. I guess you could put your logo there. I don't know. I should I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't complain too much about it. Yeah, so that only works when you're going downhill. Otherwise, it just slows you down. Right. But it looked like. I guess you have to. Cl that gives you a speed boost, right? So maybe you just have to. Hmm. Well, this is kind of hard to figure out. Yeah, I liked how you uh, you just land on top of the water there. Yeah, this game definitely has a very unique control scheme. I've never played anything like this. You have a double jump too. Yeah, I've been doing that. Oh, okay. And now you're stuck. Oh, what was that? Maybe we should have played this a little bit more <laughs> ahead of time before we try to get into it. Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's a little complex. A little more complex than I was expecting it to be. So there you go. No, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. I lost the speed too fast. Oh, that gave me the boost, and I was probably going to need that boost oh. to get across so you there. Can just go around. I wonder if I need to get across there at all. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, Feels like I'll... I have to, but... Nah. Yeah, bypassed. Yeah, see? Like this billboard. Add some detail to the game world. Paint factory, you know? Well, I'm still not really sure what is Whoa. going on here. Wow. We just uh, got a little uh, frame skip there. Yeah. Dropped a couple frames. And there's Stop. Some, there's hmm. some interesting collision going on here, too, occasionally. Stop. Oh, we got like a bounce, kind of a bounce uh, surface there. So from what I hear, this game is good for speedrunning. It's got levels... That that car just fell off a cliff. Sure did. Did you see that? I wonder if it was our fault. Probably. It fell by right as we... It fell right as we drove by. Well, let's not tell the owner. He might have been in there. Maybe he's dead. Mm, let's not tell his wife. <laughs> <laughs> she might have been in there too. And maybe the kids. Maybe we just annihilated a whole family. Whoa. Yeah, I, I wonder if this is where the game really shines, you know, like when you start going really, really fast. Yeah, it it does feel fun when you're doing that, but yeah. there's a lot of parts where where you get stopped by something. Yeah. Or that... Wow, this is a huge game, actually. You have to press A. Yeah. Or not A, you have to press B to, to, start to like, slowly, up. yeah, to slowly move along. It seems like you want to get over a hill and then uh. hit the gravity. Yeah, like that kind of just kills it when you go over the hill. I feel like maybe you should get more speed or more maybe it should be easier to go up the hills I don't know I don't know to play with the physics a little bit I do know that when you're playing a game that's you know using speed as it's one of its Whoa. primary mechanics hey look 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 you're you're riding oh, oh cool. skating nice. across the water there anytime you come to a stop or a slow slowdown it feels really bad like even the Sonic games were like that if you're going really really fast and you suddenly hit a yeah. brick wall it feels really bad oh we die when we go in the yeah. water if we're not going fast enough uh, okay that's a cool mechanic this looks like a gigantic level. Just kind of cool. But yeah, you know, I'm starting to like it more now that I'm sort of getting the hang of the control. Yeah. The controls are really they're kind of awkward. They're awkward, but there's not too much to it. Yeah. There's not too many buttons at least. At least not right now. Maybe you get more abilities. Just getting used but. to how to how to control the character. Does yeah, even like you're, you're trying to get downhill as much as possible. Yeah. Then what are all these hills doing here where you have to go uphill? There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Perfect. Right. I guess you, you haven't can't seen be... any enemies yet either. No. Which is kind of, it's kind of interesting. So this game's like, so far it's been non-violent pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Except for, <laughs> except for that van full of uh, children and, and oh, young yeah, that we knocked off that, the side of the cliff. That we knocked off. Rip. Rip them. 
So aside from that that little piece of violence, there's there hasn't been any violence. Yeah, it's nice. It seems I feel like we're um, exploring here. It feels kind of op pretty yeah. open, pretty much like an open world. Like I keep going to different areas. There doesn't seem it doesn't seem to be trying to lead me anywhere anymore. No, it's like, really not holding the beginning your hand. of the game. But I wonder where are you? Is there anywhere you're supposed to go? I think I'm, I think I'm supposed to collect those blue things. Maybe if you get enough of those, you get access to other areas. Oh, that oh, just that spun end. me around. So I guess that's the edge of the world. Oh, that's oh. the edge of the. How does? How can you tell if that's the edge of the world? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can't. I wonder if there's a map. That'd be kind of annoying if you couldn't tell that was the edge of the world. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that was perfect. Right into the tree. It's really fun to just go fast. Yeah, right. It's really fun to just control once you get the hang of it. it yeah, it looks like that kind of game. The amount of fun you have is directly proportional to how fast you're going. Yeah. Which, you know, Sonic games are like that. Yeah, I used to like F-Zero X and like 1080 snowboarding. Those games had a really good... Uh, had a really good effect. Had a really good speed effect. I played a lot of snowboard kids. That wasn't as fast. Nah, 1080 Avalanche was probably... was probably the best. That was for GameCube, right? That yeah. was a launch title, I think? No, that wasn't a launch it wasn't title. A launch it came title. out, I think it was a couple years after. Oh. Alright, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, oh it so close. I might have to hold the gravity button while I'm doing that to get across that lake. But look, that's what a... Those are checkpoints I just learned. That that blue thing. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, because I keep spawning on them. You do? I see all these wires, too. I want to ride those. I don't know if you can. Is there grinding in this game? What would you grind on, though? The wheel? Uh, I, I don't know, I guess. That's that's for you to find out, good sir. Hey, look, there you go. Oh, yeah, jumping. Uh, that was a heck of a bounce. Question. Good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't really I don't really know what to do here. I'm still kind of just wandering around. What's all this over here? Yeah, you're given no, no goals, no direction, no service. Can we get up this hill? I feel like we can't get up this hill. It looks way too steep. Just use that. No, we can. Just use your broke engine. Ow. Also, is there... There. I really don't think there's camera controls in this game. I'm pretty sure there's not camera controls. I mean, do you need it, though? I guess if you want to look around, but... Yeah, I'd li I would like it. I'm not sure why it's not there. Maybe there's a design reason for it. It... Oh. Oh. Do you want me to try and get in that pipe up there? No, I don't, I don't know if... Oh, we can go that way, I oh, guess. Oh, yeah, this looks cool. Oh, I hit the R button by mistake there. So it's going to give you... Which made me stop. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. All right. So it's we'll just going to boost you. And then you're going to shoot out of that pipe. And then what? We'll find out. Oh, uh, that was not, not as exciting as, <laughs> as, it as I was hoping for. It doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, that would have been cool if there was something, like, out there that made you keep keep going. Yeah, like a grind pipe. And, like, go up into the sky. Wow, this is this is just a gigantic level with not much in it. Lots of hills and nothing else? I think, I guess this is like sort of a tutorial just to get used to going up and down hills. I don't know. Which is kind of the basic, the core, I think the core mechanic is uh, going down hills. <laughs> Maybe get a better engine later or something? Maybe. But that's the kind of thing I want, I want to be given up front. Like in the Bug Butcher, which yeah. is a game we played like a week or two ago. And... In that one, they start you with a machine gun that doesn't shoot very fast, and it's not really that fun. And when you upgrade the machine gun after you've played the game for 30 minutes to an hour or so, it gets really fun. <laughs> it gets a lot more fun. <laughs> you just gotta invest some time in it first. Yeah. Which isn't, I don't know, that's probably not the best way to do it. You but know? you're gonna draw more players in by giving them something really fun to do right away. Which, this kinda does, to be honest, just going down the hills. And the way it controls is pretty fun, but I'm kind of wanting to know where to go now. Yeah, I know. See if, uh, see if there's a map or something. Like hit the back button, or... Oh, I just restart <laughs> to at a checkpoint. All right, well, that's good to know. There's a red, there's like a, some red stuff in there. Maybe I should, maybe I should try and get that. Some Let's red see. stuff. Some red circles or power-ups oh. in there. Maybe if I jump. Hey, there's something. That's a key. Oh, that's a key. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to get. Yeah, but I, oh, one, oh, out, one of five. out of five. So we probably have to get all those and then go to wherever you use a key. Which, you know, there's no map, so how do we tell? Maybe there is a map. look for a map? Uh, I don't see any. I guess not. Keep going. 
And we'll just edit that out in post. <laughs> well, I won't. Somebody will. Somebody that's not me. Somebody that I pay to edit. Molly. Oh, that's right. She died. Rip. Rip Molly. You can tell I'm very sincere because I say rip, right? Okay, so I don't know where to go. I don't either. The experience here kind of just grinds to a halt, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I, I like being... Uh, I like an open world, but I also kind of like having my hand held just to know where to go for the main story. I like being able to... Well, we, I think we've said this before, but... <laughs> Whoa, what the, <laughs> what the fuck I don't know. Yeah, this is like this is like being thrown out of your nest if you're a bird. You get thrown out of your nest on the first day. Yeah. And uh, just go. You'll be fine. I promise. I, li I like being told where to go just, yeah, in the, main, in the main story, like where to go next to progress the, the main part of the game. Yeah. But I also like having an open world. Like if this existed, but there was also something just telling me where to go, like an arrow, if that would be kind of a cheap way of solving it. Yeah. But like Crazy either, Taxi does. Yeah. Either, yeah, an arrow or just like lead me along with these, lots of these blue circles in a row. Maybe they're trying to do that and I'm too dumb to see it, but. Maybe. I would just, I would like a goal. I would like to know what to do. Why? Wh why? Why am I doing this? What's my angle, you know? What's the point? I see a key up there, though. I do. Maybe they aren't keys. I think they're just collectibles. I think they're just... Oh, yeah, the keys were like a, like a USB, little mini USB stick. Yeah, they there. had like uh, circuits on them. Yeah. Wow. And boy, this game gets really slow when you're... That it when does. you're not going downhill. Yeah. What's that? There's a, a beacon of light over there. Did you see that? Yeah, but I want to get this collectible here. Ooh. Or, or I don't. Or you okay, don't. Okay, let's just go for that beacon of light. Man. This looks like a hard game to control. That's got to be something, that beacon of light to your right. That one? Unless it's I just a, it's check a checkpoint. Point, yeah. Oh, is it really? I think it's a checkpoint. So it's nothing. I could hit it if you I die again by going in the water. I don't know if that's going to actually even save it. I don't know. It didn't have any, like visual or oral in indication of what was happening. Huh. I think I needed more speed there. Maybe. This game has really good reviews on Steam, too. I think this is something that you just have to play for a little bit to get the hang of it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I guess. There's another checkpoint. Into the woods. Hey, this is different. Cool. Let's well, see, now I'm being led along by these circles. Maybe we were the whole time, but... I, I couldn't tell. A lot of checkpoints, though. Oh, this is getting pretty fun. This is more like a racing game. Hey, look at those guys. That might have been enemies. Maybe. Hmm. And whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So you caused that explosion. Just now. Also, well, what is this thing? Uh, it looks like a, a like a detonator. Yeah, I keep wanting to rotate the camera, though, to yeah. look around more. I think, I think that would have been a nice, a nice thing to add, some kind of camera control. But maybe, maybe it's not needed. Maybe once you've played it a little bit more. Yeah. Especially, we're pretty lenient on the games that we play on this show. I think. Yeah, maybe I guess. too lenient. This game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know. If it's really all about racing, once we get into it, I'm sure. Then at that point, camera's not even required. You know, most racing games don't have cameras, camera controls. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I think that might be what they were going for. Oh. Hold Y to magnetize. Make Magnetizing sure makes you stick to surfaces. It can be used to ride upside down or on. Did we have that before? Did no, we just get that ability? I think it's new. I think it's new. Oh, I feel like uh, we can use it here. Oh, you still go really slow. I'm magnetized and then... So all these blue things do is just speed you up, I think. I don't even think they add to any kind of account. Mm. I don't think they, uh, they're they collectible or anything. Okay. So we just hit this thing, and oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, wow, that frame rate. That frame rate's dropping. Okay, as soon as I hit that thing, I'm going to hit Y. No, that didn't work. It doesn't really do anything, does it? Hmm, no. What happens if you don't hit Y? You just go off the side of it anyway? Probably, yeah. I mean, it probably would do the same thing that it just did. I think I'm, maybe I just don't have enough speed. I think you're on your own on this one, Joe. I don't know. 
I feel like I'm on my own for the whole game so far, except for the very beginning, before we got knocked out of that ship. So wait, and then... No. Nope! <laughs> so we sort of figured out how to do it. It's very finicky. It's incredibly finicky. So I would hold B. What I did was I held B until after I got the boost, and then mm -hmm. once I got to the peak, that's when I hit Y to magnetize. You get as high as you can go. Just like in real life. Okay. So there you go. This. And now. And now. Too late, I guess. Okay, uh, you do it. I, I just did it. it. Yeah, I don't know. I just did it. We just did it off camera. This was what you were supposed to do. So you go up here, and you grab the speed boost, right? And now you magnetize. Oh, you're right. It didn't work. It's very finicky. That's, yeah, that's like... Holy crap. That's why we were looking around trying to find something else to do. So this is... There we go. Really difficult just, to figure out. You just have to time it, apparently. It has to be, like, exact, though. You would think they would give you a little bit more of a forgiving area yeah. to test out your magnet ability. You would think that. It's kind of... Oh. And you fell and down we are. back down. All right. Want to take it back? Uh, sure. No, you... Yeah. yeah, why don't you finish? Why don't you play for a little bit? All right. Unless you're not... Oh. You're not really used to the other stuff, though, I guess. I'm not, but... I don't know. It's... I'll give it a shot. Let's try this again. There are no speed boosts here. Oh, there's this, though. Come on... Crunch your ties. There we go. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Alright, so maybe it's just a finicky game. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Wait, maybe not. Man. I'm not in love with the game. Are you supposed to hold B? I don't know. Maybe you are. Maybe I doubted you for now. I feel like this is not it's not very beginner friendly. And this is basically our first time playing it. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I'm on a wall. But not that wall. Camera angles. The game. I'm about done with it. You want to play a little bit? Yeah, let's just call it. This is the end of the episode called Defunct. Defunct. Get it now on Steam if you like this kind of game, racing game. Certainly on my it's thing. Not, it's not a racing game, really, is no, it? No, it's really not. It's I mean, like an exp exploring game with. It's a speed game. It's a gravity game. It's a gravity it's speed. Kind of a, yeah. Physics, gravity. Speedy. Robot. Adventure. It's it's unique and it's interesting. Eh. Yeah. But we didn't give. Uh, I think it's something that you probably have to play for a while. Yeah, maybe. To be able to get into it because it got good reviews, so. Maybe it's just us. I or maybe it's just not our kind of game. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't know. Thanks for watching GameSoup.